Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another ink comparison video and this is Pilot of Washizuku ink comparison number three. So I think with that, let's swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the descriptions, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomoe River this is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3d and it has a number eight size bock nib which i can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size bock nib and the idea is i want to have consistency with the writing sample so i use this i dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it. And then at that point, uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it. That's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink here is Pilot Oroshizuku. To see you, Kusa. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a really beautiful blue ink. And this is an ink that I've been using a lot lately. I have been inking this up in a number of pens. It's a very, very beautiful blue ink. So I think let's do a second pass here just so that I can show you the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib because not all nibs write the same so this is pilot iroshizuku and it is tosuyu and it is kusa which is a very very nice uh, light blue ink and I have to say that this has become a bit of a favorite of mine lately the next ink is Pilot Oroshizuku Ajisei so I think let's do an ink swatch and I have to say that this is also a new favorite of mine as well I have uh, an ink called uh, Papier Plume Forget Me Not Blue and because I'm not in the USA, it's not as easy for me to get hold of it. That's the second pass there I've just done. So I wanted something that was a little bit similar, which was a bluey, but also a little bit of a violety blue. And 
I have to say, I think after searching for a number of inks, I found an almost identical match. So this is a pilot, a washer Zuku, and it is Aji Say. It's actually a J. But this is a very, very beautiful. If you don't want just a regular blue, like maybe in Tsuyu Kusa, but you want something that has a little bit more of a violet or lavender or a purplish blue, then this is probably the color to go for. The next ink is Pilot Awash Azuku Azageo. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now, this is a lot more of a deeper blue, I would say. More of a typical blue. So we'll do an, uh, a second pass here on top. So you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. So this is Pilot. Iwashizuku. And it is as a Geo, which for me is another lovely blue ink. Now, I did actually have trouble opening the cap on this, and I just want to show you here there is a bit of sheen on the rim of that bottle there. So it'll be interesting to see if this ink will sheen on Temue River paper. The next ink is Pilot Oroshizuku Kujaku. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a little bit more of a greenish color. Almost, I'd say, a teal color. We'll do a second pass on top. So the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. And this is Pilot Iroshizuku and it's Kujaku. But that is an interestingly teal colored ink, maybe a little bit sort of hedging towards a blue black. The next ink is Pilot Iroshizuku Sayoro. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is an interesting color as well. Again, I'd say a little bit more of a teal color. We'll do a second pass on top. Show the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. So this is Pilot Iroshizuku. And it's Sayo Ro. But that does look very similar to Kujaku, but maybe one or two shades darker. And then the final ink is Pilot Washizuku Sukushi. So we'll do an ink swatch. And Sukushi translates to horse's tail. And I do find that this is quite a uh, dark brown ink. We'll do a second pass. And we can see the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib. So this is Pilot, Oroshizuku, and it is Sukushi. But I do find that that's almost like a um, hazelnut, uh, chestnutty sort of color brown. So I think let's take a look at these inks now they have dried. So the first ink here is Pilot Oroshizuku Tsuyu Kusa. And this is quite a nice blue ink. It's a more mid to light blue ink. It's not a turquoise though. You can see quite a bit of difference here between the wet versus the dry. Uh, there's quite a lot of difference in that uh, color there. 
Now, the ink sample is actually more towards the wet because it is a wet writing nib. Now, you can see quite a bit of shading going on. And if I try to show on camera here the sheen, there is some sheen around the edges here. And I'll see if I can try and get that on camera there. There you can see it. So it's got quite a, a little bit of sheen there. Not a massive amount of sheen, but a little bit of sheen. The next ink is Pilot Washer Zuku Ajisei. And again, this is another nice blue ink. It's a little bit more on the sort of tinge of lavender or violet with blue. But it's a nice color ink. And I have to say it's a, it's a color that I do like a lot. So there's quite a bit of difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. Uh, you can see here that this is a wet writing nib. There's quite a bit of shading going on as well. Is there any sheen? I don't think so. It's uh, very difficult to see. I think it wants to sheen, but it's just not quite a sheening ink. The next ink is Pilot Washizuku Azageo, and this is a more deeper blue ink. You can see the difference between a wet and a blue nib, not a massive amount compared to these two samples. But you can see a little bit, you can see shading going on, but you can also see a lot of sheen there. So look at that sheen all around the pulled edges of that ink. So this is a, a nice sheening ink. Now, do I see it in the writing sample? I do not. So you might not actually see this. This is Tomoe River paper, but you might not see it in a writing sample. Unless maybe that ink has maybe dried out in a pen a little bit. So it's become a little bit more viscous and, and you might then see it at that point. The next ink here is Pilot Iroshizuku Kujaku. And this is a bit of a teal coloured ink. Uh, you could definitely see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. This is a wet writing nib. There is a bit of shading going on that you can see here. The, the biggest thing, though, is the sheen, and this has a lot of gold sheen there. So this is a lovely sheening ink, and you don't normally see that on a green ink, uh, but you can see it a little bit more on a teal or a blue-black ink. The next ink is Pilot Washizuku Sayoro. And again, another teal ink, and I would say that this is probably one or two shades darker than Kujaku. Again, you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. Little bits of shading going on, but then you can see again this sheen here. So this sheen is a lot of sheen that you're getting out of that. Now, do you see the sheen on the writing sample? I don't see it there, but it certainly is a possibility that you might see it on the writing sample, but not massively. And then the last ink here is Pilot Washizuku Sakushi. Now, this is a brown ink. It's uh, Sakushi is horse's tail. Now, you can see a difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. This is a wet writing nib, so it does appear darker in the writing sample. Uh, is there shading going on? Maybe a little bit when you see some of the pulled areas of ink. But the beauty of this is this gold sheen there. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, so do you see this on the writing sample? No, I do not. At least not off camera. But that sheen is beautiful on that ink. And again, this is on Tomoe River paper. So there you have it. That's my Pilot Iroshizuku inks comparison number three video. If there are any inks here that you like the look of, let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any other inks you would like me to compare or you have that are very similar to this, then do let me know in the comments below. So that's my Pilot Iroshizuku inks comparison number three video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.